and Uber riders as well as drivers can also leave their masks at home. The ride service company allowed that or announced that facial coverings are no longer mandatory in those vehicles. Prem 2's Janelle Finch spoke to some of those users today. She's joining us now live. So Janelle, what are you hearing about how they feel about this change? Well, almost as quickly as those mask mandates came up across public transit, those mandates are coming down on planes, uh, buses, as well as now rideshare vehicles. Masking is now optional. But what does this mean for the future of masking? Well, Spokane Health Officer Dr. Francisco Velasquez, Velasquez says looking ahead, we may still see some situations where masking is required. One rideshare driver told me it was frustrating having to wear a mask as states dropped their mask mandates across the country. Today, that changed for Uber and Lyft users. The two companies announced masks are no longer required while using their services. One Uber driver says before today, riders told him constantly they were tired of wearing masks, and so are drivers. It's been too long that we've had them on. One rider told me being vaccinated and boosted makes her feel comfortable enough to take off her mask, but will likely wear one in certain settings. I would prefer a driver who's wearing a mask. If he's not, he or she is not, I would probably put my mask on, to be honest. But I'm pretty conservative with that. No, if I was sharing a ride chair, I would definitely have it on. But I guess you have to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. Drivers say they'll keep masks on hand if passengers ask them to put one on. And if they want me to wear a mask, I'll put a mask on. Dr. Velasquez says considering personal health and those at high risk could cause someone to wear a mask even in spaces when they're not required. He also says science has advanced since we first discovered COVID-19, so industries will continue to adapt by dropping their masking rule. We have a significant amount of knowledge that we didn't have two years ago, which we're applying. We also have a lot of tools to decrease uh, risk, such as vaccines, which we didn't have a year and a half ago. And we have learned in which environments is more important to have some protective effect as compared to others. So I do believe that as time goes by, and the uh, variants do not cause either significant disease and or impact on healthcare, we will see less masks requirements and we'll see more of a masking recommendation for general protection and health. He predicts come winter, people will choose to mask more often to prevent the spread of COVID and seasonal illnesses like the flu. Dr. Velasquez says health experts will still continue to monitor COVID-19 case rates to make the best health recommendations. According to the Washington Department of Health, they recommend that you continue to get vac vaccinated, wash your hands, and stay home if you're feeling sick. In Spokane, Janelle Finch, Prem 2 News.